Which one is better? Is it PlayStation 5? Or, is it Nintendo Switch? Now, let's do some comparison. Oh wait. Before we start this video, I have some message for disclaimers. This video is for entertainment purpose only. I don't want anybody to get offended by this video. So, please do not take it as seriously. It's just a comparison video from perspective view. Let's take it as positive. So, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Make sure, hit the like button, click on subscribe button, and press on the bell icon for more notification. The first one is, PlayStation 5, the powerhouse. Sony's console is super powerful, with a, variable, 10.28 flops, an ultra-fast, solid-state drive, and a 4K Blu-ray drive. It supports realistic graphics and works with a wealth of PlayStation exclusives. Now, the pros of PlayStation 5 is advanced SSD, powerful PoO, backward compatible with PS4 discs, Sony exclusives, 4K resolution, more powerful than other console, and optional PlayStation Now and Plus subscriptions. The cons are, more expensive, and physically larger than Nintendo Switch. Sony's console is, without a doubt, the more powerful of the two. However, since these devices offer very different playing experiences, you shouldn't determine which one to get based on the power, but rather by what you want to do with your gaming console. The PS5's super fast loading speeds and high processing power allow it to support more graphics intensive titles and run online multiplayer more smoothly. It loads 2 gigabytes of data in a quarter of a second, making it an incredibly fast console, indeed. If you hate sitting through load times, love looking at high-end graphics, or like playing competitive titles online, then processing power will be essential for you. Now, I'm going to describe about the hybrid king, Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's hybrid console isn't nearly as powerful as the PS5 but it lets you dock to a TV, or play in handheld mode. There are dozens of it exclusives on this gaming system, many of which feature family-friendly and couch co-op titles. The pros of Nintendo Switch are, TV and handheld play, compact design, several couch multiplayers, Nintendo exclusives, less expensive, more family-friendly games, and optional Nintendo Switch online subscription. The cons of it, doesn't support 4K resolution, and doesn't come with a traditional controller. Instead of relying on high-end performance, the Nintendo Switch focuses on the playing experience. In fact, it doesn't even support 4K. When docked to a TV, the Switch can reach up to 1080p, but when in handheld mode, it only reaches 720p. This won't really affect you since the screen is so small, though. The Switch features two removable Joy-Cons, which, when turned sideways, become their own controllers. This makes it so you can easily pass one to a friend for on-the-go or at-home multiplayer fun. On that note, Nintendo tends to offer more couch co-op multiplayer games than any other gaming company. So, you can invite friends over or have a family game night where everyone focuses on the same screen and plays together. Now, I'm going to explain about the storage as an internal, and external memory. As for PlayStation 5, when it comes to internal memory, many PS5 games will be about 8 gigabits to 15 gigabits of RAM, and require 46 gigabits of space to play. You can always connect an external hard drive to get more memory space. However, for Nintendo Switch, it has 32 gigabits of internal storage. It requires 10 gigabits and 15 gigabits. You can invest on micro SD card for Nintendo Switch. The Sony DualSense has adaptive triggers which add a layer of immersion to gameplay. DualSense also features grips, a touchpad, mute button, a microphone and mute button. However, Joy-Cons feature motion controls. 
These features allow for a very different type of gameplay that often feature in party games. So, there you go, please let me know your choice, which one you prefer. Leave your comment below. Bye. See you.